home renovation videos that this week we're going to Paris and we're just on the Eurotunnel now. We're going to drive to Calais Fretan which is a train station near Calais, park there and then get the train in. So yeah, we're going to Paris in a slightly different way but we're both really excited. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> just booked a small little ibis in Montparnasse. Our room is très, très petit, <laughs> but um, it would be fine for us and hopefully we're not going to be spending too much time here because we'll be out and about. Tomorrow we've got quite a few things booked like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre, but today, oh, we've just I think we're coming up to four o'clock, we haven't got anything booked so we're just going to go out. We're about 15 minutes walk away from Chardon de Luxembourg and uh, we might go up to Arc de Triomphe and walk down the Champs-Élysées as well, so yeah! Chartier uh, last night. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, yeah, it was a recommendation from someone who I work with, and I'm so glad we went. It was a great atmosphere in there, and yeah, although we were quite crammed in with other people, the restaurant looked amazing, and the food was really nice and a really good price actually. So apparently, there's three um, Bouillon Chartiers. I think the original one was in Montmartre, so we didn't actually go to that one. We went to the one in Montparnasse, and. Yeah, it's still good, it looked really nice. And today we've got a really busy day ahead of us. We're about to leave to go to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, then after that we want to check out Musée d'Orsay, then uh, Musée de l'Orangerie, the Louvre, and then after the Louvre we want to try and fit in Pompidou as well. So we've booked the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, and Musée de l'Orangerie because they're all quite, well, obviously quite popular destinations for tourists in Paris and the queues just get horrendously long and um, so I thought it would be a good idea to book tickets in advance for that so yeah that's what we've done but everything else we haven't booked and yeah let's see how we go
move we were in there for about an hour and I think we, it took about an hour to get out <laughs> it's just so big and yeah you can easily get lost in there we had um, a quick drink and some lunch and we're now in Montmartre and we're about to go up uh, the vernacular up to the Sacre Coeur <laughs> today. Yesterday um, after a Louvre we didn't end up going to the Pompidou, I'm not sure if I mentioned. We just felt a bit um, museumed out and you know the Louvre is hu huge and you could spend all, all day in there. Uh, we didn't spend all day, we spent about an hour but um, it felt like it took about an hour to actually exit the Louvre as well just because it's so big. We went up to Montmartre afterwards and went up to the top of the Sacre Coeur. Um, and then later on in the evening we went back to whereabouts we're staying in Montparnasse and had dinner, um, enjoyed a nice bottle of red wine last night as well so we've saved down the name of that, hopefully we can pick some up in Calais on the way back. Today though we are going to be going to the Palace of Versailles, that's the only thing we've got planned today um, and you know that can take a little while to move around and have a look around but yeah we'll probably come back to the city and um, decide what else we want to do. day in France today actually so we've got up pretty pretty early I think it's about 6 30 at the moment our train from Gardenal is around 7 45 uh, so we're about to get the metro there we have got a changeover on the way we have to change at Lille for about an hour before getting on the train again to go back to Calais 
just the way it's worked out with trains. So yeah, at least we can see, see Lille for a very short amount of time. <laughs> and when we get back to Calais, we're hoping to go to City Europe to pick up some wines. Anyway, yesterday after Versailles, we went to Pierre Lachaise Cemetery, which is always beautiful. I like strolling around there, just find it really peaceful. And then we ended up going to the Pompidou, but by the time we got to the Pompidou, we were just so tired. <laughs> I think this trip has, you know, we've tried to fit in as much as possible and it just all caught up with us. We're kind of walking around the Pompidou and yeah, modern art, you know, it can be interesting, but it can just be a bit like, what is this? <laughs> So we didn't like look at everything in the Pompidou to be honest, uh, we kind of just came back to the hotel to relax for a bit before going out in the evening and getting some dinner and having some really nice red wine again. So we've taken a picture of the label and hopefully we can find it in Calais. So yeah, anyway, sad to be leaving France but at least we can still fit a little bit in before we have to catch your, our Eurotunnel train. Anyway, this whole trip we haven't had any macarons yet, so we spotted a little stall and, uh, and bought some macarons. I think it's going to be too wet to walk into the centre of Lille, and I think it'll probably take, I looked on Google Maps to go to that main square, it'll probably take about half an hour walk there and back, and we've only got an hour, so we haven't really got enough time, so we're just going to sit in the station and enjoy our macarons. train back home now sadly end of the holiday we picked up some wine in Carrefour at City Europe uh, sadly we couldn't find the wine we had at our meal um, this week in Paris but oh well maybe we can find it somewhere else also got a bottle of champagne and some French sweets as well for the journey home I also popped into Sephora there's a Sephora at City Europe and I'll show you what I got so I got a small Iborian BB cream which I know you can get in the UK but I've been wanting to try it for a long time so it was nice to go in there and actually try it on the back of my hands quite liked the feel of the BB cream um, so yeah I've got that in shade Claire to, to match me I also got a mini of the Tarte creamy concealer, no creaseless concealer so I wanted to get something you can't really get in the UK so I went for a Tarte product I, I did want to get some more Sephora products as well but I thought I'd I'd leave it there and not spend too much money because we have spent quite a bit of money <laughs> already in Paris this week but yeah anyway um, it's home time now so I hope you've enjoyed my little Paris vlog let me know if you've enjoyed it anyway by giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment below if you've got any questions about how we got here or any other attractions you want to find out about in Paris which we did I'll see you in the next video bye